We may have a medal ceremony now, I think. Do we know we're into the K1 K1 men's 500 meters junior final over 500 meters? A uh, very interesting field. Denmark, Slovenia, Germany, Spain, Ukraine, Hungary, Latvia, Italy and Portugal make up your start list for this event. Uh, and well, let's have a look. The Europeans are the reigning... Uh, sorry, the Hungarians are the reigning champions, but not the athlete who's competing in this race. So that just underlines once again the depth of this country. In lane two, there you have uh, Manfreda from Slovenia. In lane two. On his inside was Nikolai Bride from Denmark. Lane three, the German, Jonas Borkowski. In lane four, Caballero. He's had a very good week this week from Spain, eighth in the European Championships this year. The Ukrainian, Voloshin, fifth in the European Championships this year. Lane six, Hidvega from Hungary, trying to keep this medal in Hungarian hands. In lane seven from Latvia, Janis Koretz from Latvia. In lane eight, we have Sparacini from Italy, second in the European Championships this year. Could Italy win another medal? And on the outside, Goncaves from Portugal. Jen, tell me what you know. Yeah, so the Hungarian athlete, he was in the K4 that won gold here this weekend. So he'll be looking to win another gold here today. Uh, the Italian uh, won a silver medal in the mixed K2 final here at these championships. So I'm sure he's gonna wanna add another medal to his tally, but you know, the K1 will be a little mm. bit different. Well, it doesn't have Sarah in the boat, will you? No, he doesn't. Carrying him along in the form that she's in. So we're underway in this K1 men's junior 500 meter final. Looks like it's the Hungarian who's decided enough of this nonsense. So I'm going to get out there and get the Hungarians back up on top of the podium. He's gone out really, really hard. I think it's the Slovic, it's the uh, German Borkowski who's going with him across there in lane three. But Hidvega from Hungary, he's really taking it out. It's a 500 meter race, so let's see how he goes, if he can hold this pace. But he's put a bit of distance already between himself and the rest of the field. Borkowski from Germany trying to hold on there across in lane three, but it's the Hungarian that is taking up all the running at the moment. Look at that, halfway through the race, and he's a boat length in front of the rest of the field. Across here in lane eight, it's the Italian Spadaccini who's trying to chase him down as well. But at this stage, it's Hidvagi from Hungary. He's really look at, looking determined. Uh, it's the Italian making up the best ground though, and across there in lane one, it looks like Bride from Denmark is also chasing him down. Now the strokes get a bit tougher for Hidvega from Hungary. He's starting to find it gets a little bit weary towards the end of the race. There's a few trying to chase him down, including Borowski from Germany. The Spaniard Caballero also flying home. Hidvega holding on now from Hungary. Across at the top of the course, we have Manfreda from Slovenia also charging home. Hidvega from Hungary, he's holding on this Hungarian crowd are really ripping into him and trying to get him across the finish line. I think he's going to get there. Good finish there for the Hungarian Hitvega. He holds on to take the gold medal. He really took that out there. He wanted that gold medal. He went out from the outset as hard as he possibly could and managed to hold on. I think he found a little bit in the last 100 metres to get him there because there were a few guys closing in on him. But he has led from pillar to post Honor Thomas Hidvega to get the Hungarians their 19th gold medal of the week. Really good finish for second, Jen. What did you see? Oh my goodness, the Slovenian had such a strong second half. Um, I'm going to presume he's been coached by Jurni, um, but not entirely sure of that. I know Jurni is one of the coaches on the team, but he just came through with 200 meters to go. Like, like the first half was just so easy for him. And you know, sometimes people say the race only starts with 200 meters to go. So, oh, look at that. So it is. I think you're right, Jen. I think the Slovenian got there. And maybe the German held on for third. Yeah, it looks. Or was it the Spaniard? Spaniard. Maybe Caballero from Spain who got there. But yeah, big finish from uh, Manfreda from Slovenia to take the silver, we believe. Possibly the Spaniard actually maybe got there for the bronze. It was a bit hard to tell. 
Yeah, I told you so. He said, I told you so, Ross. <laughs> 19 gold medals now, man. Count them. Uh, yes, so the Spaniard Caballero, their confirmation. Look at that. Look how tight that is for second and third. No doubt about the winner, Hedvegi from Hungary, Manfreda from Slovenia, and Caballero from Spain taking the bronze medal in a great finish for that uh, K1 men's 500 metres. And the crowd here, another good solid crowd out here, as you would expect. They love their canoe sprint in this part of the world. On a Sunday morning, a lot of them giving up church to come here to, uh, to watch their other religion, to take part in their own. They, you get a choice here. You know that, don't you? You could choose. You've got two religions. Yeah, two. One's kayaking. One of them is kayaking. And that takes priority on a Sunday morning for most, it seems. So a pretty happy result there for the Hungarians. Back on the gold medal table, two gold medals today for the Hungarians. Adam Varga winning the 500 earlier, and now Ana Udvega winning the junior 500 metres. So they've taken both 500 gold medals today in the men's events. Pretty strong.